A yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. Today we're gonna make meatloaf to make your body rock. It's DJ Barbecue in my backyard with my good old kettle barbecue and one of Grandma's recipes. Grandma's world famous meatloaf. <laughs> Yeah! Thanks, Grandma. R.I.P. I miss you. Let's do this. To do this bad boy, you want to set up your barbecue for the Death Star technique. If you want to know how to do the Death Star technique, I want you to click right here. And if you want to know how to clean your barbecue, you click right here. You got it? Good. Let's make some meatloaf. Ow! One onion finely chopped. Let's do this. Boom. Now it's turn of green pepper. So one onion, one green pepper. Get in there, green pepper. And now it's the turn of garlic. Grandma says one clove, I'm going to. Into the bowl, you go. Yeah. And now we're gonna go with a medium carrot. Yeah, carrot. Compost, there goes our medium carrot. Nicely chopped. Let's get the rest of the bad boys in here. So we have got uh, 400 grams of uh, minced pork and 400 grams of minced beef. Boom! 100 grams of breadcrumbs. Get them in there. Woo, breadcrumbs. Sea salt, good stuff. Get in there, sea salt. Freshly cracked black pepper. Yeah. I like cheese. I got 150 grams of cheese. I'm gonna put half in the mixture. The other half on top later, near the end of the cooking process. So, get in there, cheese. Mm. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One. Wish I invented this stuff. Two. This is called Old Bay. There we go, Old Bay. Old Bay comes from my home state of Maryland. When we're cooking up crabs, doing a big old steam crabs, we put on loads of this stuff. It's awesome. Uh, it's one of our best exports. Best thing we ever invented in Maryland. Now, if you can't get Old Bay, uh, just crush up some, um, some bay leaves really fine. Mash them all up, and Some brown sugar, some salt, maybe some smoked paprika. You can make your own Old Bay, but that's the legit stuff, and it tastes good. A couple shots of the Tears of Joy hot sauce. You don't have to, but I like adding hot sauce to my stuff. There you go. And then I'm gonna whisk uh, two eggs and throw them in the concoction. So here we go. Motorboat that. Okay, I'm not even looking. Look at that, huh? Is it going in? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've gotta get in there. So I'm gonna take off the bling. Let's go in here. Okay, so I'm gonna mush it all together. Come on, come here, dude. This is the beautiful part. You get to play with food. So you bring all those flavors together. Mix it all up. So that's the loaf. And now we're gonna pimp it out with some sauce. Now we're not just doing a normal meatloaf. We've got a very special sauce going on top. And if you wanna know how to do the sauce, it's called DJ Barbecue Sauce from Planet Damn. So to know how to do the sauce, just click on the bowl. There you go. But we're gonna pimp it out grandma style with 500 milliliters of ketchup. Woo! More of this tears of joy, tequila lime, hot sauce. Okay, then I want you to grab your wood stick like that, okay? Boom. So there is our flavor canals for DJ barbecue sauce from Planet Damn. Grandma pimped out. Grandma and pimp doesn't really sound very good, does it? Sorry, Grandma. I've got this bad boy. Can I spin it? Yes, I can. Can I spin it? Yes, I can. All right, wish me luck. This is gonna be, it's like doing surgery. All right. So it's in, and now it's time to add the sauce, the flavor. Make sure it goes in those little canals. How do you spell dam? D-A-Y-U-M. Okay. I'm gonna see you in about an hour and 15 minutes, okay? That goes in the middle, and then we cover it up. Let's go skate, dude. There's a, there's a bowl around here I've, I've built. 
my boy Mark Churchill. You bought your skateboard, didn't you? Let's go for a skate. Woohoo! Got a nice little hour sesh in my local bowl. What's my favorite trick? Not falling off. All right, let's check out Grandma's world famous meatloaf. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's looking good. One more thing this baby needs cheese. Because everything tastes better with cheese. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to leave the lid off. Here we go. Come on, cheese. Melt. All right, five minutes of cheese meltagesness. Is that a word? <laughs> Terrible word. Time to pull her off, let her rest, and then eat. Oh man, look at this. Look at it all bubbling away in there. That cheese is nicely melted on. Grandma's meatloaf has had 10 minutes of resting. It is now time to slice and eat. <laughs> My favorite bit. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh wow, so good. It's like summer in Iowa. All right, listen, I'm DJ Barbecue. Thank you so much for watching. If you had not subscribed, make sure you click that button right there. Also, tell me what to cook. What's your favorite home cooking? What is comfort food to you? Tell me below and I'll cook it for you. Send me your recipes, man. Let's hook it up. Ow, woo, love you, Grandma. Today, we're celebrating Food Revolution Day, cooking with children, getting kids to learn how to cook, to be independent, so they enjoy the process, the funness of cooking. So we're gonna do garden glut soup.